Hey, all Reckoners, to vlog number, I don't know, this is like four or so in this channel's lifetime. Um, I I'd originally actually planned this vlog for today, but I'm going to start it off with a little something I hadn't planned on, and that is I'm going to apologize because I am, I have a cold right now, I'm just getting over it, but my throat's still sore enough and my nose is still stuffed enough, I don't think I can record uh, an episode for today, so I'm sorry about that, guys, but... I didn't want to subject you to me sniffing, coughing, sneezing all through an LP, so I, I hope you understand. You can probably hear it in my voice a little bit. It's really, it's way deeper, it's way huskier. I could probably do some cool, I could probably do certain voices, but not, not all the voices I'd need to do. Um, but, uh, so yeah, there's two things on the docket for today. The first thing is, uh, it's Happy New Year. This is a little, a little late, but I was really busy all around the New Year. And I didn't want to, I don't know, I felt disingenuous to pre-record it, so now post-recording it after the new year to put up, I don't know, it just feels a little more natural. But I want to just thank everybody who's with me through this, uh, who's with me now, because, you know, this channel's been going for a while, and we're finally seeing some real traction, um, like, and it's just, it's just really cool to see all you guys coming out to watch the different games, because I'm trying to be kind of like some sort of aggregator, uh, like, of, like, disparate news sources to keep you guys informed about just different kinds of experiences that are out there. Um, I don't really, this kind of brings me to point number two, though, of I don't have a super crystal clear vision about what I want this channel to be, um, because, like, initially it was just, just only indie games, kind of. I mean, not, not, not from day zero, but, like, that's, as I started this channel, I was like, I kind of want to just do that thing where I do a different game every day, uh, but the entire game. There's just different short games all the time. And so I'd, I'd basically, if I played anything, I'd record it and put it up. Uh, nowadays, that's definitely less true. Uh, I probably play, like, when you see me put up a, a one-off indie game, that probably means I played four different indie games, recorded two of them, and didn't use one of them. So that kept the one, and that's the thing that you actually saw go up. So I guess I've kind of developed a very undefined, some sort of standards about what I think is good for the channel and what I think makes good content. Uh, so to pad that out, you've probably noticed there's a lot more series-type games than um, there were for the... The last few months, like, so like this last month, last two months, there's a lot more series things than there were the months previous to this. And I feel kind of bad about that. Um, there's nothing I can really do about the source for one-off indie game stuff. Um, I mean, I can try and find new new avenues to, to discovering these things, but um, unless I relax my standards, and I don't want to do that because I think it'll make worse content. There's nothing I can do about that. So the series are here to stay, um, but in terms of scheduling, I kind of want to shake things up. Because right now, with very little exception, I will do a video game series, and I won't interrupt it with anything else. Like, I, I, once the series starts, that's the content for the channel until the series ends. And I think that's um, a little difficult for... To, to, like, find an audience for that, because I think a lot of, some of you are here because you found, like, a series of a game, maybe. Uh, I think most of you are probably here for the one-off indie game things. So I think what I'd like to do is I'm going to, I'm going to kind of spitball some ideas here, and I'd love it if you guys in the comments um, gave any sort of input on what you think the best course of action will be. So the first um, possibility, that's, uh, it's probably the easiest for me, in terms of, it basically maintains my current workload, it just it stays the same. And that would be where I do something like, um, or I try to do, like, every other day is part of whatever game the current series is. And then the off days are some indie game. Um, in practice, this would probably just be what it is now, basically just ser from start to finish series, but... I would, whenever I found any, when any sort of game came across my radar that I liked, I just stick it in, um, and interrupt it. So, the, the disadvantage to that is, um, I'd like to have some way for you guys to, to have some sort of expectations, like when you wake up in the morning, about what kind of content will be on my channel. Uh, so, like, if, if I was, if I could ensure that there'd be enough indie games that I could go every other day, I think this works really well, but I don't like the idea of 
you watching, like, currently, let's say you watch an episode of Lisa on a Wednesday, and then on Thursday, you don't know if it's going to be Lisa or just something completely different. I don't, I don't really like that. So, if that's still an option, I can try and make it work. Um, I could uh, even throw in, like, a second series, I guess, to interweave it. But that'd be really have some weird. Like, actually, I could do like uh, some roguelikes in the middle. That that could be that could be doable. A little repetitive content, but not necessarily bad. But yeah, so here's thoughts on that. Um, the other option I had is I've kind of been toying with the idea of going to two videos a day, uh, but shorter videos. So typically, I try to make my content roughly 20 minutes, 22 minutes. You know, I'm not super strict about it at all. Uh, lately with Lisa, they've been creeping up to 30 minutes, and that's because um, I like each episode to feel like progress is made, something was accomplished, and certain games are just paced differently, so, so, so I feel like certain games have to have longer episodes, or should have longer episodes, but um, if I, I, I'm curious to see if you guys would find it easier to consume in 15 minute chunks, um, and then to compensate for that, I would do two 15-minute chunks a day of two different games. So that would the only way that would work is the, there would definitely just be one start to finish series going on. Uh, like, let's say the normal the normal time slot content would still go up, and that'd just be whatever game the current series is. And then I'd start a new time slot like four or five hours later, and that would probably be the first plan where it's a. Uh, it's scheduled as a whatever series two will be, but then its main purpose will be for indie games. Like indie games, will should be at least three out of five of the episodes that go up. I mean, there's sometimes it's a week, but I mean, just statistically, at least three out of the five should be indie games. So, so the second time slot, I really, really, really want to focus on one-off indie games. I don't know if I can make that work. I think I can. I don't know that I could. So, I would. It'd have to be interspersed with, I think, a second series, because one of my New Year's resolutions for this channel is I want to go back and I want to finish all the game series that I let hang. Uh, I didn't write them, I don't, have the, I don't have the list right here, but I, that's, um, that's Psychonauts, that's uh, Star Wars Republic Commando, that's, uh, what's that, what's the, the most recent one, um, <sighs> Alpha Force, Delta Force, whatever was the... You know, it's like a Mass Effect, but set in, like, the Iraq War, basically. Um, and there's a fourth one, which I am drawing a blank on right now. But, yeah, so there's basically four. I remember there were four. Um, Banner Slug doesn't count. Banner Slug I don't intend to finish, unless you guys really want me to. But there's four games I want to resurrect the series. Like, I, I'm not going to start from zero. I'm just going to... Because the save files are all still there. Oh, yeah, Batman Arkham Knight's the other one. That's what I need to finish. And so I, I'm going to do those. And so I think the best way to do that, for now, is to do the two series in parallel, um, probably with shorter episodes. Now, if you guys comment and you really don't like that, that's fine. I can, you know, I can change my plans and work around that. But I definitely, I don't want, right now, I don't want that channel to only be the those four games. Um, I want it to still be, you know, new, relevant stuff, which... I mean, playing games, I guess, when I do the one-off games, those aren't, those are new and relevant, but anything else I do, for the most part, is just whatever's in my Steam library, that's cool, so, those things usually aren't the hottest things ever, I love playing them, but, um, I, I with the exception of, of, uh, Kickstarter demos, I definitely don't strive for new hotness. Um, so yeah, I think, to recap, what are you guys' thoughts on episode length? What are your guys' thoughts on scheduling content-wise? Like, how much and in what form you want it? Um, series versus indie, two a day versus one a day kind of stuff. Um, I really don't have, like, a favorite. Uh, they all seem cool. I'm really here just to make content for you guys, so I'd love it if you wanted any sort of input on the creative process. <laughs> Sounds way too grandiose for what I do, but uh, it's the only word that's come to mind right now on my my cold medicine addled brain. So, um, I think those are all the topics I wanted. I don't think I stress enough how thankful I am that you guys are watching this. You guys mean a lot to me. It's really, really cool that anybody watches this. And, uh, let's make, let's try and break. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm so bad with goals. I don't know. Um, 
I don't really have a timeline for it, but the, the landmark I'm really looking forward to coming up is, uh, uh, because it's a moving landmark, I want, I'm looking forward to the day when I have as many subscribers, one subscriber, for each day the channel's been active. Um, and the channel age is I'm starting it when my first Valiant Hearts video went up. So I've been doing it for approaching two years. So, um, we're not close to that. We're really close to 300, and I have a bunch of ideas for a 300 thank you video I'm working on. Not in any way related to the movie 300. <laughs> that would be interesting, though. Maybe, maybe, now that I think about it. No, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm do I will do something, though. I will definitely do something as a 300 video, because we're nearing that benchmark, which is friggin' awesome. So, I'm rambling. Don't want to blow my throat out too much more. So I'm just going to thank you guys now. Uh, sorry there's no content today. I am quite confident I will have recovered sufficiently to do something the following day. Um, Lisa, almost certainly. I'm in a couple of indie games right now, so maybe, maybe, uh, Tuesday, I'll just start doing, um, 15 minute Lisa episodes and indie games to interleave it with, uh, whatever games I'm catching up on until I have time to, um, you know, read your feedback and take, take that into consideration. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm sure I'll be much more healthy and hale and fuller of piss and vinegar and all that sort of stuff. Thank you guys so much again. Signature cast.